Hello and welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. Today's video is going to be all about the natural remedies for cuts. Now, when we're talking about cuts, we're dealing with a minor cuts. And the most important thing to do here is if the cut is bleeding a lot, just simply elevate the injured part and press a clean cloth directly onto the wound in order to stop the bleeding. And the most important thing to focus with any cut is to get the affected area as clean as possible before applying any sort of herbal remedy before applying any sort of covering to the area get it as clean as possible because you don't want any sort of bacteria to get into there and in today's video we're going to talk about all sorts of natural remedies for cuts to help with healing and to help with uh, simply soothing the area as well so it's it's great uh, simply wash the cuts and grazes with any of these washing um, liquids that I'm going to talk about, the herbal liquids. Well, when you want to wash the cut, you've got several options, several natural options. First of all, you can use uh, witch hazel, diluted witch hazel. You can get that off iHerb, Amazon, eBay, also health food stores have it. And it's really great because it's an antiseptic and it helps with cleaning the wound as well. So wash with some diluted witch hazel and make sure to dilute it correctly, please. If you don't have witch hazel, then you can simply use diluted uh, Freer's balsam. Um, you can search that up. It's really great for wound, uh, you know, cleaning the wound and keeping it infection free as well. If you don't have witch hazel or Freer's um, balsam, you can also use diluted calendula tea, which is amazing for helping to serve as an antiseptic, as an anti-inflammatory washing the wound component. If you don't have calendula or Freer's balsam or witch hazel, then you can simply use water with salt or drops of lemon juice. Um, you can use that to help wash the wound as well. So another thing is uh, you can simply use a tincture from calendula. If you don't have calendula tea, you can use a calendula tincture if you have that in your first aid kit. And I highly recommend to stock up on a herbal first aid kit. I've talked about that a lot in the past videos about what are the best natural first aid uh, kit supplies that you need to have. Also, parsley juice is amazing. Parsley juice is great to help to place directly onto the wound and cover with a gauze dressing. So uh, you need to change it every two hours to make sure that the wound is cleansed effectively. And you need to try washing the wound with the water from the boiled parsley and you apply the warm pulp as a politis. Parsley is amazing anti-inflammatory, antibacterial as well. If you have parsley right lying around in your fridge or in your garden, for example, just chop a little bit up, up wash it, put it in a blender or food processor along with water and then strain it out and you've got instant parsley juice ready to go. Or if if you don't want to do the blender or the food processor method, simply just boil down a, a, a little bunch of parsley in with water on a pot and just use that water to help wash off the wound as well. Another great, marvelous, amazing natural antiseptic is the good old garlic. And garlic is great for helping with wound healing and for helping with uh, simply uh, nourishing the skin as well so you can make yourself a mixture of crushed garlic and you can add some honey on that to make a healing poultice and you can apply it directly to cuts as well honey is amazing because as we said it really helps to uh, nourish the skin it helps to prevent air and moisture from getting into the wound so and uh, these are great remedies that you can try uh, from parsley from all sorts of you know different herbal washes that you can try as well and honey is really amazing because not only that you can use it for so many different things when it comes to wound healing and when it comes to skin healing as well and one of the best types of honeys to use is manuka honey manuka honey is amazing when it comes to wounds because it literally helps to heal the wounds much more faster and better than any of the natural remedies that we've talked about in today's video so what do you what can you do internally well drinking a cup of peppermint tea will immediately help to clot the blood and it's really important if you suffer from nosebleeds as well um, because peppermint tea is amazing and it helps to clot the blood that way and this is what you're looking for when when you want to heal the wounds and when you want to stop the bleeding as well apart from doing the first thing that we talked about which is simply just elevate the injured area and press a clean cloth directly onto the wound you want to go ahead 
ahead and drink a cup of peppermint tea, sweeten it with a little bit of honey or your nat natural favorite sweetener and then drink that up as well. So in order to protect the area after cleaning, you should also uh, think about applying a paste of garlic and honey to cover with some fine gauze as well now i wouldn't leave, these are all natural remedies that you can try but i wouldn't try them all at the same time what uh, i'm just giving you all the options here for you to be aware of what you can try naturally and holistically so in my case i would make sure to stop the bleeding make sure that it's in disinfected using one of the uh, four ways that we talked about either the salt water or the calendula diluted as a tea or as a tincture or the witch hazel witch hazel is of course the easiest um one to try out i always have witch hazel lying around in my uh, in my cabinet so after you know elevating the area keeping it clean uh, i would try the honey method the honey method is amazing i usually have manuka honey lying around if you don't have manuka honey you can simply go along and try any raw natural organic honey that you have really amazing and really effective for helping with wound healing just put in some honey wrap it with a gauze and then brew yourself up some peppermint tea drink that to help with clotting the blood and to help with relaxing as well you, it relaxes your digestive system it relaxes you mentally and it helps to enable you to focus as well so when dealing with cuts and, and you know uh, bleeding or anything like that you know we not only uh, kind of you know the skin is affected and there's bleeding involved but we also get affected mentally as well and also we're dealing with children as well they get affected a lot mentally so you really want to brew them something a herbal tea like rubios or a little bit of um chamomile or some uh some other berry uh, tea of their choice it really helps as well to help to calm the nerves down We've reached the end of our video today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like more information in regards to natural holistic remedies, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. We'd love to have you on board. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.